Although your baby will not recall the moment of their baptism, it is their first step in a lifelong journey to achieving eternity in heaven. Satan and his army of demons stand ready to thwart your child's progress. Throughout their life, evil will challenge their innocence and temptations to sin will test their purity. In the rite of baptism, the Holy Spirit does the heavy lifting. But now it is up to you as parents to teach your children right and wrong and to raise them to know and practice the Catholic faith. God has placed his sacred trust in you and he has tasked you with raising your children as dwelling places for his presence on earth. Your children will not learn morality through textbooks and classes. They will learn it from the living witnesses of their parents. Indeed, your child's progress in the spiritual life will hinge upon your progress in the spiritual life. It is in your home where they will develop the habits of holiness that are essential to the salvation of their soul. Adam and Eve walked in holiness in the presence of God before they sinned. Our entire life is a journey back to that state of perfect unity with God. The holiest saints all agree that there are three stages to this spiritual journey back to God, which they call the purgative, the illuminative, and the unitive stages. In the first stage, the purgative, we are purged of our attractions to sin. Our disordered passions and evil inclinations can be conquered so we can more easily overcome temptations and exercise the virtue of charity. Our continuous failures cultivate in us the most important virtue, humility, which helps us to become aware of our weaknesses as well as our dependence on the grace of God. It may take most of our life to progress through the purgative stage, and we can do so only through a daily prayer regimen, especially through meditation or mental prayer. Without prayer, we stand hopeless against the temptations of the devil. St. Alphonsus Liguri said, it is impossible for him who neglects meditation to live without sin. St. Teresa of Avila added, he who neglects mental prayer needs not a devil to carry him to hell, but he brings himself there with his own hands. It is a lifelong battle, but the good news is that progress builds upon progress as God's grace elevates nature. As we become more holy, we become more naturally attracted to the good and repulsed by the bad. You can begin your prayer life with 15 minutes each day in meditation. You can break it into four steps. First, take a moment to reflect on the reality that God is near you and with you and he is pleased that you are offering this time to him. Second, slowly read a spiritual text, perhaps the gospel that is being read in mass around the world that day. Or read St. Francis de Sales' Introduction to the Devout Life or Thomas Akempsis' The Imitation of Christ. And don't just read, meditate on the text. Read it slowly, reflect on it, and apply the text to your life. Reread the text slowly many times. Third, offer God acts of love and thanksgiving. Ask him for a certain grace to conquer a particular sin or to grow in a certain virtue. Then make a concrete resolution to do a specific good or avoid a certain sin during the day. Finally, conclude briefly by thanking God for the time of meditation and asking him to bless your day and your resolutions. Prayer will transform you and mental prayer is essential to progressing through the purgative state. Over time, you'll find yourself more naturally conforming your will to the will of God. The second stage of spiritual growth is the illuminative stage. At this point, you have made sufficient progress that you rarely commit mortal sins, but you still struggle to avoid venial sins. In this stage, your mind becomes more and more enlightened to spiritual matters. Your love is stronger and your soul seeks progress in the spiritual life and in all the virtues. The third and final stage is the unitive stage, 
so named because we have united ourselves with God. This is the stage of those whose sole desire is to please God, so much so that they live in great peace. Having been largely purged of sinful desires, they have their minds fixed chiefly on God. All the saints are in heaven because they persevered into the unitive stage. Progress through these three spiritual stages is critical to your role as a parent. God has vested you with his authority, and he is entrusting you to prepare your children to live a life of joy and peace in his presence. Your children will grow in their spiritual lives through your witness, which will be developed primarily through your prayer life. Take your children to Mass, go to confession regularly, and lead your family in prayers together each day. Let your children see you're treating your marital bond as the sacred, lifelong covenant that it is. You can be sure that the most effective way of contributing to the salvation of your child's soul is by focusing first on your own. Spiritual progress is also critical to your role as a spouse because your primary job as a husband or wife is to assist your spouse in achieving heaven. Jesus said that all those who thirst for righteousness shall be filled. If you thirst for righteousness, you can have confidence that God is pouring His grace upon you and leading you through the lifelong journey that will bring His peace and joy to you and your family.